Hello and welcome to another video of a walking tour. This time we're starting to get to Metro again, but we're not walking over the high level bridge this time. We're going to go a different route and use the uh, Tyne Bridge. Hope you enjoy. So this time we're going to head down Jackson Street and get it. Now we're heading down Jackson Street. Heading this way, I'll take it into, a into the Newcastle City, totally different way to what the High Level Bridge did. Just across to the right there, there's the new Tesco is a new shopping centre that was built a few years ago. Let's continue down Jackson Street. Still got to right. Metropole Hotel. That boat has been there quite a lot of years. Turn it to where I left there. This shop here used to be Burton's a, a lot of years ago. That church over there to the right there is the chapel of St Edmund. It's been there since 1248, according to the sign. Over to the right here used to be the old Woolworth store a lot of years ago. Road to get right. At home bargain store used to be in Netto supermarket a lot of years ago. I'm continuing down the main high street here. All this on my left hand side here is all new with all the new Tesco's pins on the top are apparently students accommodation. As I said all this on the left is all relatively new. Probably about four or five years old maybe. That building over to your right there is a BT building. You just need to see in front of there, just behind the railway bridge. You can see the town bridge. That building over to the right there, the auto trader building, used to be the Dunkow pub a lot of years ago. Continuing on down towards the Tyne Bridge. This road here is the main road that comes off the flyover. Straight down. And obviously leads straight onto the 
Tame Bridge. Where that bus is coming out, it's a bus lane with a bus lane camera. And I think that gentleman in the Mercedes there has probably just been caught. I'm not sure about the two ambulances though. I think somehow then I'll get away with it. But apparently that, that road there is a very profitable bus lane. So we'll continue on. And this little tunnel towards the Tyne Bridge. Now we're heading across the road to get to the Tyne Bridge. The bank there straight in front of it is Bottle Bank. Quite a steep bank up from the riverside. Crossing over now to get to the Tyne Bridge. As you can see, we're heading onto the Tyne Bridge itself. Move on to the right there. There's the Sage Music Centre. Lots of concerts and stuff going in there. We just keep heading straight on towards the city. Over the Tyne Bridge. See the Tyne Bridge is one of the main gateways into Newcastle City and obviously vice versa coming from the city into Gateshead. That church there is to the right is the Gateshead Visitor Centre. If you want any information on visiting Gateshead but not sure if it's opening times. So we're heading straight into the city now over the bridge. To the left there is the Hilton Hotel. the side you can see views of the high level bridge what we walked over in one previous video and the swin bridge we keep heading over time bridge as you can see by the video I think the Tyne Bridge needs a good repaint. Newcastle and Gates are Council at the minute are trying to get money off the government as it's going to cost £18 million to repaint because it's well overdue, it should have been painted at least for a year ago but still nothing been done. Looking over to her right there, uh, a pan round. You can see uh, the top of the Millennium Bridge in the Sage Music Centre. And continue on. We'll get roughly to the middle of the bridge. 
I'm going to stop and have a look over the side, just have a pan around. You can see the high level bridge, the swim bridge below there. So you're heading around the See the old Kese buildings there, the Guild Hall. There's now a hard rock cafe there. And obviously that's where the Kese market is on a Sunday morning. I'll give you a better look at the hard rock cafe and stuff when we get a bit further across the bridge. It's the same there. Tell me a bit about the bridge. I believe when the time bridge was built there was only one person ever killed while building it. Which is quite a feat all them years ago. No safety precautions like they had in these days. Again, we'll just stop and have a look over the bridge. You can see the Hard Rock Cafenat down there, where the Keyside Market is, and Pan Wilbur. Just lead you down to the main Keyside. We'll continue to walk on. Now obviously we're at the old castle side of the river. It's a quite a busy road into the city from Gated here. We just pan over to the side, that's some of the oldest buildings in Newcastle. Been there quite a lot, I guess. Uh, just last week there was a fire at one of those uh, at the roof at the back I believe we'll just pan across to our right just give me a view of the key side what you can see on this side of the bridge obviously you've got the main towers there These towers have lifts inside them, take you down to the key side, which are no longer in use, I believe. And some of them were actually going to be used as storage warehouses when the bridge was initially built. But I don't know if they ever got used for that. We're continuing on to the city. View down onto the key side there. It's a lot of work getting done in some of these older buildings. Just up on the top there is the Vermont Hotel. Obviously, the old, the old court, and right in the foreground there is obviously the Castle Keep, which I said in the previous video, Newcastle is named after. We we'll continue with walk into the city. This office block over to our left here has been a barn for a row years and I believe it's all getting done out. We are into accommodation now from what I hear from what I've been told. Now, now we're heading off the time bridge. Heading towards the city centre.
there's obviously the East Coast main line that runs across that bridge there. Goes up Edinburgh, down to London, vice versa. That big white building in front there is Swan House, obviously Swan House Roundabout. Used to be belong to BT a lot of years ago. Now it's a uh, luxury flat. So now I'm going to deviate off route a little bit and uh, go and see the Arlen Shearer murals, which was made in one of the subways out of Lorra Towers. I believe they're getting in a state of disrepair now. But we'll go through and have a look, see what see what state they're actually in. So these obviously are all old abandoned office blocks. They're no longer in use. Obviously, these ones here are getting some work done on, so they must be going to make some use of them again. So just through here, there's still way coming up. Did have the Alan Shearer mosaics in. But apparently they were in quite a state of disappear. Hope we'll go through and have a look. So as you can see, bit of a mess now these have been maintained which is a shame really being graffitied pity the hand being maintained same over here same on the other side graffitied tiles missing it's a shame really so we'll continue on. So the, this year is the old hospital soup kitchen. And previously before that it was a museum. The Joyce Museum if I can remember correctly. Oh. As you can see, it was the Holy Jesus Hospital a lot of years ago. So, say this is brought into Swan House Roundabout. Right in the middle of the road. There's these sports bars and stuff here. This statue up in here when I was little used to be actually in a fountain in the middle of this one house. Obviously they really located okay it. When BT left the building and they've done it up into flats. We'll continue heading into the city. A few more bars and stuff there. Purple Peacock. That's the building, 55 degrees north which is what they call a building now actually 55 degrees north is Newcastle position on the world map
and we're crossing over to Pilgrim Street. So that's a people on Mosley Street. From the previous video, I took a view of Mosley Street from the other end. We're going to head up Pilgrim Street into the city. That building there, it's been built. Used to be the Bank of England. But it was pulled down to make way for this new block. Which is uh, not quite topped out at the top yet. Continue walking up Pilgrim Street. Towards the city centre. Look at this part of the city is getting major redevelopment over the coming years. I think that building's there the start of it. We've had further into the city. Going up to High Bridge. All this is part of Granger Town. Get yourself a view along High Bridge there. Some of the little side streets. Just crossing. Continuing on. It's a view down Warsaw Street there. Used to be a bus station down there many years ago, right down the bottom. That's the old Pilgrim Street Fire Station. The view down Shakespeare Street. That side there is the Theatre Royal. Continuing on into the city. At the junction of Market Street. And Market Street East. Down there's Market Street. And across to the right is Market Street East. Continuing up Pilgrim Street. Over to the right there where the stack is, used to be the old Odeon Cinema. Obviously the stack closing down now, getting moved to alternative places. It's so apparently they're going to be building a massive new building on there for the uh, Department of Work and Pensions. So all this over here is going to be Big new department block for the Department of Work and Pensions. I'm moving all the staff from up there down from Long Benton. Just straight ahead there, I've seen North Pumman Street. 
and around see the Leonor Gallery right at the far end there and we just pan round to the left and uh, going on to Blackett Street and you've got uh, the Northern Goldsmiths Gold Clock there so I'll continue on to Blackett Street to Monument where we'll wrap up this little walking tour And we run towards the monument. Coming a totally different way to the, the last walking tour I've done from Gates to Newcastle. <coughs> Just approaching monument now. As you can see. I'm only going to turn away. I'll just, yeah, just pan up, have a look at the monument. So that ends this tour today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and look out for more. So please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell notification for more videos and thanks for watching.